Hello everyone and welcome to Stream and Tech Now. Important message today about a new scam that's going on that you're going to want to be aware of. It's starting to happen more and more, especially during holiday season. A lot of people are purchasing gift cards and things like that. So as you know, every year thousands of people become victims of scams and holiday scams and whatnot, and it's no different this year, unfortunately. So what is the scam? Well, there's actually two. The first one has to do with purchasing gift cards, which yes, is still very popular and let me explain here's an example of what happened in one situation and is happening to many other people as well so desmond ramey um, actually experienced a gift card scam earlier in december and the gift card that mr ramey bought at a store in california returned an error message when he tried to use it so he went up to the store manager and asked the manager to take a look at it the store manager then pulled off a barcode sticker and under Underneath that sticker was the original barcode and the manager said well you've been hit by a scam so how does this gift card scam work well a scammer usually will place their own barcode sticker over a real gift card barcode which looks identical to the original barcode and when the card is activated at the retailer the money is then added to the scammers card instead of yours so for example you go to the cash register and you purchase a gift card for say $25. Well that $25 does not load onto your card, rather loads onto the scammer's card because he has is he has his barcode sticker on top of your barcode. And now this type of scam isn't new, but it's becoming increasingly more popular especially during holiday time. Fortunately for Mr. Ramey, he was given a refund and told by the manager that gift cards should not have a raise barcode like a sticker so you're gonna want to always double check that before you purchase a gift card especially if you're pulling the gift card off of those gift card kiosks you see in many stores that have multiple gift card selections it's very easy for someone to take a bunch of those put their own barcode sticker on them and then just put them right back on the shelf without anyone knowing so always make sure that you feel the back of that card and make sure it's a flat surface now, I wanted to test this out, so I actually went to a couple stores. In one store in particular, I pulled a couple off that did have that raise sticker right over the barcode. So I immediately took it up to the manager, who actually was aware of the scam, and he pulled another associate, went through the entire gift card kiosk to check all of the gift cards. But guys, that just shows you how prevalent this actually is. So be very careful. It was actually over an Amazon and a Disney Plus and a Sephora gift card. Those were the ones that I actually found. Now, the other scam or the second scam has to do with QR codes. Now, criminals are using QR codes to bring people to malicious sites. And I did a video a few weeks back about another QR code scam. So feel free to check that out. I'll leave a link in the description. Now, scammers will put a fake QR code on a menu, for example, um, on a sticker attached to the wall or a light post in high traffic areas. And these fake codes often go to malware sites or other web pages that try to steal your information. Now, this is becoming very popular in restaurants on menus, for example, because there's a lot of restaurants that are or have transitioned to QR codes to pull up the menu on their phones due to the COVID pandemic and germs and things like that. So double check to see if there's not a sticker QR code over the original one on that menu, for example. And if there is, ask for a different menu or double check with a manager to make sure it's legit. Because if these things are scanned, they will download malware onto your phone and can be used at a later time to then steal your personal banking credentials or sensitive information. Guys, so let me know in the comments what you think. Have you seen anything like this so far? I wanted to make sure I bring this to your attention so you can be cognizant and know what's going on. Thank you so much for joining me today. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up, subscribe, and make sure you share this video with someone you know so they can also be made aware. We'll see you next time on Streaming Tech Now.